Recently, Retro Fighters released two new wireless game pads for the GameCube. Can also be used on the Switch with the included USB adapter or on the Wii if it has GameCube ports on it or the Wii U with the GameCube adapter that gives it GameCube ports. Now, initially I did a review or first impressions type of thing of the Battler GC. Uh, Retro Fighters sent me two of them for purpose of review and I kind of wish they would have sent me the Blade GC as well. Um, but that's okay, that's fine. Uh, Castlemania Games, Ryan from Castlemania Games, he actually hit me up and said, hey, uh, I wanna send you these since you didn't get any of them so you could try them out. Cause I was actually really interested in this model because I do use my GameCube quite often uh, with the Game Boy player and I thought the bigger D-pad would be cool for that purpose. So he sent these out and I started checking out the orange controller first uh, before I even started filming anything uh, just to kind of get a, an idea of how everything worked. And this is kind of a video I don't really like doing, but I have to. And I have had nothing but problems with these um, Blade GCs. The Battlers, I didn't really have any issues with. I received two of them and both of them work just fine, but these Blade GCs for some reason are freaking wonky, dude. Now, initially I, I started, and you already see, I just turned this system on and there's some issue going on where it's just auto scrolling. Um, it happens off and on. Sometimes I'll power it on and it's fine. Let me wait for the system to come back on and then turn the controller on, it did turn off. And hopefully, no, it's, it's still doing it. So as you see, I didn't like, do anything weird to make it do that. It's just a wonky analog stick, but let me get that one out because that one's just giving me a headache right now. Uh, so initially what I wanted to do was play a Game Boy game, a Game Boy Advance game. So I played a uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and I wanted to check out the D-pad. And I was like, okay, the D-pad's not as good as I'd hoped. I, I mean, it's a, a bigger version of what's on here, but it just kind of feels a little slippery to me. It doesn't, I don't know. I, I kind of wish everybody would use the same style D-pad uh, that like 8-bit though does, but I, I was able to do moves, all the Hadoukens, Dragon Punch, that kind of thing, uh, with not much of a problem with the, the D-pad, just not my preferred D-pad. And then I was like, okay, let me try the analog stick. And I was using the orange controller at first, and I started to immediately notice some issues. And I was like, what is going on here? It just didn't feel right. And I started like really looking at these controllers and the analog sticks, they seem to like, I don't know why I did tear this down. I'll show that in a moment. Um, the analog sticks kind of, the clearance to hit the plastic on up, going up is shorter than it is going down. And I was like, maybe that's a problem. And then looking at this orange one, it seems like the right stick is a little off-centered. So I was like, all right, let me swap controls. Maybe I just got a, a bad orange one, right? So I, I, I started using the black one and I had the same issue with the analog sticks. And they do seem to just sit a little higher on the north side for whatever reason, maybe the way they're set into this controller. And that does seem to affect things because, you know, maybe whatever problems going on with these analog sticks but I ran the controller test and I reset my system, plugged in the controller each time that I ran this uh, GameCube controller test just to see the ranges and how the analog sticks, you know, uh, registered. And it was kind of wonky, like they weren't consistent at all. The black and the orange controller, I popped them in there, tested it out and I was getting some weird ranges with the other one, the first one that I reviewed, the Battler GC, I didn't have an issue with the ranges on them. Now, the ranges on the, the analog stick test, it's gonna differ from an original controller. Uh, I believe on original controllers, when I've tested them before, the range from left to right, it would, it would register like 90 to 100. And on the Battler GC, I was getting 127, 128 consistently um, with the opposite side zeroed out. And it, it seemed fine. Both the uh, Battler GCs that I have, uh, the analog sticks register fine. But these Blade GCs just, they're not registering that 127, 128 on all you know sides. They're registering like in the 80s or the 90s or 110. So they're very inconsistent for some reason. Now I popped in the purple one and that one seems to be the only one that doesn't have an issue with the ranges. And I would expect, you know, there's gonna be some variables here and there, but 
uh, variances on that. But yeah, the purple one's the only one where it consistently registered. But the analog sticks still, they kind of seem like they sit to the north, high, you know, more like there's less travel to hit the gate on north than there is for down, just slightly. All these controllers have that. It's just kind of weird other than the, um, the Battler GC, it, it seems like they're perfectly centered to me. It, it's just weird. So I don't know if this is just a strange defect, but I thought after having three of them, one of each color and two of them exhibiting the same behavior and one of them having a, to me and in, in my line of sight, my vision, a very off center orange, you know, analog stick on the orange one, on the right side, that's very off center, sitting up very weird to me. And then dismantling it, taking a look and not seeing anything noticeably wrong. No plastic lodged into anything. It, it's just kind of weird. So, uh, you know, even after using the purple one that seems perfectly fine as far as how the analog sticks register, but it does have that shorter distance on the up, uh, which may not really affect a lot. It may not, you know, bother some people, but it's just noticeable to me. I don't like the D-pad as much as I'd liked, would have liked anyway, but it's it, it works. It's okay. Just, I don't know. I feel like my thumb slides off of it kind of. Just the way it, I don't know. It, it's kind of a weird thing, but they have two out of three that have a defect, an obvious flaw with the way the analog sticks registered. Sometimes they just go wonky, and we'll just start auto scrolling or registering in weird directions. I thought I, I have to bring this up, let people know if you have access to a GameCube controller test via your GameCube or on your PC, something, test your analog sticks to make sure that there's no incredible variances in the way they register. Because to me, these two are kind of, they're, they're not usable with the analog sticks having that much uh, variance with them. They just don't register properly and sometimes they just go wonky. So I don't I don't know. I didn't have a problem with the two Battler GCs, but two out of the uh two out of the three blade GCs I have an issue. So yeah, do with that information as you will. Uh, try to check yours if you receive these just to make sure you're fine with what you got. Uh, and if you have a problem, definitely reach out to whoever you bought them from to find out if there's anything that can be done because uh, yeah, I feel like like look at this orange one like I don't know if you could see it. Let me try to put it like head on. Like this, this stick is up high. Like it's not censored as well as the other side, but this one still sits up higher. It's, it's really hard to notice, but it's, it's there. Like just the way they are. You see how much closer the stick is to that, to the gate than it is down here. It's kind of weird. Not, not perfect <laughs> by any means, but yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.